G'day guys, Clint here for dropshipdownunder.com.au. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, look, today I'm going to be talking about what to do when everybody else is living in fear. Um, and this is related to starting a business or building a business, etc. So, yeah, we're going to rip right into that today. But look, before we do, make sure that you smash that like button, hit the subscribe and hit the bell icon because we're doing videos all week, every week. And, um, you know, you can stay up to date with what we're doing and uh, all the free content that we're dropping. So with that, let's rip in. Okay, so with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, a lot of people are fearful and reluctant and worried and scared and, you know, not looking to consolidate when you probably should be doing the opposite. And, uh, yeah, so this video is about what you should be doing when, you know, everyone else is living in fear and getting in your ear and you know, putting doubts in your mind when you really want to try and move forward in your life. You want to try something new, whether it be a dropshipping store like we do, obviously that's probably why you're here, or any other kind of business or any kind of anything that you want to do in your life, right? The number one thing, I'm going to give you five things, okay? Five things that I focus on, and this is, this is how I get through it. I mean, I'm just like everybody else, worried and fearful of the future because of, you know, this, the madness that's going on in the world. But, you know, I, the number one thing, right, is block out the noise. Block out the noise. Turn the news off. Don't watch it. You don't need it. If anything that you need to know will, will come to you in the end, right? So I watch no news, nothing. Only news that I've related to business or anything other, you know, things that I want to know about. I mean, I might tune in just quickly to see if there's any updates on anything that may be related to me, but most of it, almost all of it, is noise, right? So you wanna not watch the news, TV, especially mainstream media, forget it. It's just, <laughs> forget it, it's just a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of your thought, it's all just hyped up bullshit, right? You know it, you know it, right? Even if you think, oh, I wanna, I wanna find out what's going on, most of it, you don't need to know, right? Your social media channels, you need to, you need to, well, here's what I do. I use, I use, a, use a, a Chrome, um, uh, what's it called, an add-on, I suppose, and, it, and, it, and it's called Newsfeed Eradicator. And I don't see any of my newsfeed anymore in Facebook or any of the other social channels when I'm, on, when I'm working, unless I really want to have a look and I have to press the button to you know, go back through. But most of it is just you know, people posting stupid memes about whatever, you know, you know, let's let's be safe, blah 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 blah, and it, all it's doing is more and more and more fear, more and more negative negativity going into your mind when you need to be focusing on other things. And then, and another one, you know, as part of blocking out the noise, is don't gossip and sit around talking bullshit with your co-workers, workers, or anything like that. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? None of it affects your life directly, right? It's just. More negativity, more negativity, right? So leave it out, block out the noise. Number one, block out the noise. I can't hear you. And this is me, I'm t this is what I have done. So, and, and, it's, and, and I'm feeling positive rather than negative. At first I was getting a bit negative, I was trying to work through it and I did, and I did. And we have, and we've had the biggest months that we've ever had because of this, because we, I'll go into that in a second. Block out the noise, number one. Number two, don't ask people as advice. It's dumb, it's the most stupid thing you could ever do. You know, unless that person that you're asking advice off is, is up at a level where you wanna be or above, forget about it. Don't ask them, don't mention it, don't talk to them about it because they don't have, they don't have the answers because they've never done fuck all. Do you understand? They have done fuck all in their time. Right? They might be successful in their job or whatever the fuck, whatever. Sorry for all the swear words, but this is pisses me off the most. When people drop advice who have never done anything, right? They haven't done what, you tro what you're attempting to do. They have never even attempted to start a business usually. They have never attempted to do anything special within their life. And they're giving you advice on what you should or shouldn't do right now. It's stupid. Don't listen to other people's advice unless one, they're a mentor. Two, they've done more than you have or they're at a level that you're at or above, okay? Take their advice because they're there. They're out there doing it. They're in the field, you know, bloody punching away. 
right? Definitely take those people's advice. The people who have just got to work in their nine to five or your co-workers, fuck them. They don't know nothing, right? Okay, I won't, I'll cut the swearing a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, but this is real. This is how I feel about it, you know? I get fired up because I'm just sick of, I'm sick of the negativity that's out there when it doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm not saying there isn't shit going on, but I'm talking about you need to, no matter what happens, we need to work through. We have to work through, no matter what. What else are we gonna do? Right? Number three, start right now, immediately. If, if this is what you wanna do, start now, right now, all right? And, and don't, don't, do not hesitate for a single second because of, any of the, anything that's going on right now, begin. Because no other 99% of people won't begin and, and because you've taken those baby steps, small steps, small steps, small steps, small steps, step, through all of the challenges that are going on right now, at the end of this, you are on fire, baby, right? You are so far ahead of the game because so many people are living in fear right now that, that, that you know, you leave the pack behind and, 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 you're, and you're, you know, you're, uh, your learning curve goes from like this to this, like, you know, I've got the big U, because, because you're out there hustling, doing the thing, learning, when, and focusing on something positive rather than negative when, when everybody else is doing nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? So start right now. If you feel in your gut that this is right for you, this is something you want to do, lock it in and go as hard as you can. Start right now. Okay, last one, number five. And this is what me and Grant did to make, have the biggest months that we've ever had during this time. I think online business as well, generally, um, because of everything that's been going on, has had a surge. But Grant and I just doubled down. Absolutely, completely doubled down. We went as hard as we could. More everything. Everything we, every single thing that we're working hard on when we thought we're working hard, we doubled down, more hours, um, more ads, more ad spend, more employing more people. Everything that we thought we shouldn't do, and when everyone else is scaling back, we did the exact opposite and doubled up. And we have smashed, smashed out of the park these last few, these last few months. And you know, by upping our workload, upping our ad spend, upping our, the people that we really needed to hire that we were holding off hiring, and we did anyway, Mate, it is, this is what I'm talking about. So if you are already running a, a dropshipping business, this is what I'm talking about. Double down. Work harder. You don't have to necessarily spend more money like we did, but you need to double out, you need to double down your input. Smash it. Absolutely smash it. And if you're just about to start out, it's the same goes. If you think you can spend two hours on it, fuck that, mate. Spend five, six hours. Get home from work and crush it. Right? You know, like... You know, most people work eight hours, hour home either side. So what's that? Ten hours, right? And the rest of the, the rest of the fourteen hours, you're doing fuck all. You know, you tell me, tell me after work you can't spend four or five hours if you really wanted to. You know, think about people who've got second jobs, for example, right? They go to work all day, and then they work another job or another sort of half half shift as compared to a normal job. Two jobs. Treat this like a second job. And you will have a successful dropshipping business in no time. What I'm getting at, guys, number five, double down. When people are living in fear, doing the opposite to you, retracting, instead of doing that, you need to move forward and double down. You have to double down on your promotions or you just get buried by infinity war. Okay, I'm going to calm down myself. <laughs> but look, guys. I'm passionate about this because right now, this is the time where you need to be working your ass off. That's all there is to it. No ifs, buts, questions, no bullshit. You need to be working your ass off. That's it. So, all right, I won't rave on any longer. Look, if you want to find out more about dropshipping in Australia, head over to dropshipdownunder.com.au forward slash free. That's a whole heap of free training there, about two hours worth of content that covers all of this and more. And uh, you'll get a ton of value out of that. Um, I'll leave the, the the links in the description as well, obviously. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you like the vid, give me a thumbs up. Sorry about all the swearing. I'm a bit fired up today. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon because we're doing videos all week and that way you can get notified. And that's about it. With that, keep living the dream and we'll talk again next time.